Hey, welcome to the Mars Volcanoes video. This video could be super long, but um, you know, I got a I got a little time limit here between 10 and 15 minutes, so I'll try to shorten it by about an hour or three. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, um, there's a lot of things going on with, in terms of volcanoes on Mars. Uh, I'm just going to touch on uh, the major points and talk about a few of the major uh, volcanoes and just to give you a, a good idea of what's going on. Uh, Mars contains the largest known volcanoes in the solar system for two main reasons. One definite reason and one almost definite, most likely reason, maybe. Um, and that reason is Mars is small, although I don't know why I'm showing this at this point. <laughs> I just love showing showing Mars. Uh, it's smaller than Earth, and so the gravity is less than Earth. And so, if you've ever built a, tried to build a sandcastle, um, especially with without wet sand, then you know that um, you can only build it so high before gravity is like, uh, uh sorry, you're coming down. And um, same thing applies in terms of volcanoes or any sort of structure. Uh, and these structures have a lot of material. They, over time, and so um, on Mars, because Mars' gravity is lower, the volcanoes can rise up higher before gravity tries to pull them down, uh, they, before they collapse under their own weight. Uh, that happens much later than it would on Earth, so they can get taller for that reason. Another reason is um, for the following. Let me show you this video here. Uh, this is a video showing uh, how certain types of volcanoes form. Essentially, you will have heat, hotter materials, magma, lava, whatever you want to call it, rising up, uh, going through the crust, the lithospheric plate and crust, and forming volcanoes, as you'll see here. Builds up, builds up, pressure builds up until uh, finds a weak point and just kind of breaks through, erupts, erupts and erupts over and over again forming you know higher and higher volcanoes and this is this is one uh, definite way that volcanoes form the thing is on earth as you're gonna see in a few seconds the earth's crust flows that's called plate tectonics and so what happens is you get a volcano that used to be above the plume now it's away from the plume and it doesn't have access to the to the fuel in a sense and so these volcanoes become dormant. And then you have a chain of volcanoes. And they never get a chance to get any taller because they don't have fuel. But on Mars, um, the thought is that a lack of plate tectonics would uh, keep the, the original volcano over the plume. So this guy would be back over here. And it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So um, that's another another thought as to why Mars's volcanoes are so huge. Now, um, I'm going to talk about three major regions, although Al Alba Mons is arguably not really part of the Tharsis region, so maybe four, but and Olympus, yeah, well, one, two, well, maybe just two regions, honestly, and um, the first region is the Tharsis region, and I mentioned that in a previous video, this region right here, and you can see uh, five major volcanoes in this area. Again, it's arguable, arguable whether or not this is part of the region, even Olympus Mons. But um, in the Thars Tharsis region, uh, you s f at least for Tharsis Montes, which are really these three volcanoes here, you see they form a line. Is this coincidental? Mm, maybe. Maybe not. This leads to the whole plate tectonic. I don't know if it's a debate or not. Maybe it's just a debate in my mind. But um, how did these three form in such such a nice, evenly spaced line? And you even have some more over here, which might be related to the same sort of line. That might be some evidence for plate tectonics um, on one sense, where, uh, like in this video here, you had a plume. Uh, who knows where the plume would be in relation to Mars right now, but then, you know, as the plates moved, you might have had one volcano, another volcano, another one, 
Um, why is there so much space between the volcanoes? Does that discount that theory? I, I don't really know, but it is interesting nonetheless. Uh, and of course, there could have definitely been some other feature that that would have caused this evenly spaced sort of line. But you know, your guess is as good as mine, I guess, right? Um, the the three mountains have names. The first one. Let me just kind of put it on the side. That's pretty good right here. The first one here is uh, Ascrius Mons. This is the tallest of the three, Tharsis Montes. Uh, th this is plural f for essentially mountain. This is singular, so Mons is one, Montes is, or Montes is many. P the middle one, Pavanus Mons, is uh, the smallest, and Arcea Mons um, is the middle one, but it also has the largest. Um, Caldera, Caldera. I, I always screw up pronouncing that. Caldera, Caldera. Um, look how huge this one is compared to the other two. Um, possibly this this volcano collapsed in on itself under under its weight. Um, that's one theory, I believe. But uh, other than that, um, you got these nice three volcanoes in a line, and it's just every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, well, how did that happen? It's so intriguing. Then you got over here, you got Olympus Mons, the largest volcano ever. This thing is huge. Uh, I'm going to go into more detail in the next slide, so I'll just leave it at that. And then up here, you have uh, Alba Mons, which actually has a bigger diameter, depending on where you define the edge of the volcano, because it's kind of hard to really you know, define the edge. Maybe that's the edge there, or maybe out here. But um, even though may consider it to be uh, uh, bigger in terms of diameter, it's it's much shorter. So you can see in the elevation, it doesn't even get really definitely above 8 uh, kilometers. Um, so that's got that going for it. It's also got these uh, fossi, these lines kind of, you know, going all around it. Here you have Alba Fossi, Tentalis Fossi, and um, some think that these might have formed because, you know, when you have a buildup of of this lava on the surface that makes a taller and taller and taller volcano, eventually, you know, the weight is going to cause the surrounding land to kind of compress down, squish down because it's so heavy. And maybe that formed, maybe that cracked the surface to fi form these fault lines. It's, um, but then what's going on here? Why is there such a gap here? Was this were the fault lines going all through here and then something covered them up later? So many intriguing questions, you know. You just got to get some people out, out there to, to study these because people can study them much quicker than, a, than rovers. Not to say the rovers aren't great. Love them to death, but get some people out there. And then um, last on the list for the area that I want to talk about is Elysium. Uh, the Elysium Plains over here we go. Over here, let me zoom out a little bit. And this is uh, Elysium Mons. And this volcanic region is the second largest volcanic region on Mars behind the Tharsis region here. A bit smaller. Um, but this, this area also has some very diverse types of volcanoes, volcanic action going on. So it's an interesting area. Uh, I could go on more and more, but you know, I'm really just basically just introducing you to the, to the different volcanoes, major systems. But Olympus Mons is worth going into more detail about. This this is a huge monster. Monster. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, this is Olympus Mons here, and I love I love the edge of it. It's just like it just drops off. You can actually see it if you if I bring over this again. Um, look how it just jumps from jumps from dark red to yellow. It's like jumping from well, let's look at this picture. Jumping from, you know, six kilometers down to almost uh, sea level for Mars within very few kilometer distance. And so, yeah, this is, I think this is where it's talking about, must be, uh, I can't imagine what it looks like standing there, just such huge, tall, tall cliffs in a sense. Uh, it's amazing. This picture is a little deceiving, though, because... Um, um, same reason for the in the last video, the Hellas Basin. It's the width scale, the distance scale is not the same as the height scale. 
really so this is what 30 uh, kilometers and this is 130 is like that much and so really this length and this length right here should be equal so maybe I can kind of simulate that Maybe a little more. Well, you get the idea. I could probably go a little more, but um, just if you were to keep the height and the width scale the same, you can see it doesn't look quite so tall. And in fact, if you were on on the edge of this, um, it would be such a gradual decline that you know you might not even realize you're on a huge, huge mountain. But it is really tall, and you if you compare it to let me get back to the two mountains we have on Earth like Everest and uh, Mauna Loa in Hawaii, they don't even compare. It's just, But again, that's because that's of gravity. They're, the gravity on Earth is much higher, and so these mountains don't have a chance to get that high before gravity tears them down. So, <coughs> But again, so 700 kilometers wide at the base, 700 kilometers, that's a huge distance. 25 kilometers high. That's, wow, wow. And the, caldera, the cal, caldera itself is uh, 80 kilometers across, so we're talking vast distances here for such a, you know, for a feature like a volcano. It is a shield volcano on top of a hot spot, and that's what I was showing you in this video: hot spot going up, building a bigger and bigger volcano. And you know, this this kind of goes back to this argument: if there were some moving plates some tectonics that cause these three well why aren't there why isn't there a line for Olympus Mons right I don't know I love to think about it but so you know I think the, the main theory is that you just got um, year millions and if not billions of years of, of uh, volcanic activity building this thing up and up and up uh, right now Olympus Mons is not active although it's thought it might be intermittently active but then again, even if so, uh, most likely millions of years between eruptions. So, you know, it's been a, been a while since we've seen anything, or would have seen anything. So, and yeah, that's uh, that's really all I wanted to tell you, out of the out of the much more information I could have told you. And um, if you're interested in Mars volcanoes, you can find tons of stuff online. Uh, I had a hard time kind of weeding it out, weeding it down to, to just this amount. But I'm at 13 minutes now, so you can see, gotta go. And until the next video, ciao, ciao.